Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Civil Products. Friends, I have this battery charger, this smart battery charger. It is 2 series battery charger, 26 volt. It is also used as a SMPS power supply and as well used as a battery charger. We have two options in the selection knob. If we set the switch to power supply mode, it will work as a power supply mode. And if we put, if place the switch to battery charger mode, it will work as a battery charger. It have DC output, negative and positive. In next session, we will discuss all the circuit in detail. In this video, we will just locate the components, input power circuit, protection, fuse, power voltage protector, EMI filter, bridge rectifier, and after that, we have TL494 power supply SMPS controller it will give a switching to this transformer signal transformer and this signal transformer will drive the MOSFETs here they will drive this transformer and we will take switching and we will first we will take DC voltage on these capacitors 250 volt capacitors then we have set of these MOSFETs they will drive this transformer in the output we have rectifiers here full wave rectifier in transistor shape 3 pin package and filter output filter circuit fuse output capacitors and here is a logic circuit LM339, LM339, these are using and comparator, these are working in a combination to select the battery, to select the charging current and here we have some adjustments for the output level, three adjustments are here, four, five these are for level adjustments, sense, sense level of the battery for trickle charge, for smooth charge and here protection diode when you receive any battery charger because it is because this device takes high power and gives high power I mean high current input because it have high current output so this is the reason in output for safety there is a fuse in input there is a fuse fuse is good when the batteries are connected opposite these two diodes D7 D8 they will make a reverse polarity and reverse polarity this fuse comes in series this time this fuse is burn out How we can check with power? First of all, as it is this charger is dealing with high voltage, if you are a new or if you ha don't have a good knowledge for how to deal with electrical system with power electronics, so please don't do this. If you look in this area we have one line one line this is ground line here is protection circuit protectors sorry here is fuse this line is coming directly fuse in this area over voltage protection yes 
it is over voltage protection here then we have inductor inductor and uh, capacitor dual line filter this filter is connected here and then we have four terminal bridge one two three four one two three four and output of this bridge rectifier will go to the capacitors capacitors are here and here are NPCs for current limiting R1 and R12 these are here so at the final stage we will take passing through NTC passing through NTC we will find voltage here at the capacitors let's check first of all to test any electrical equipment check fuse that's okay now correct multimeter to ohm check the input resistance it is 470k in one direction 470k if it is in ohms that means there is something short so now I will connect the power supply and always use series lamp always use series lamp how series lamp is designed ground and neutral are passed directly but the phase is coming in the holder lamp and then it will reach in this cable here is input power coming inside ground and neutral are connected so phase will pass from the series lamp and I have this power cable now for testing purpose we must use the series lamp now I will connect power our series lamp if series lamp gives full illumination permanently that means we have some short circuit in the board now AC voltage in this video I am going sharing just only the main test points check AC voltage here 225 then check DC voltage at the capacitors 156 volt 157 volt on the both capacitors and check connect one lead here this is the first capacitor second capacitor ground end second capacitor positive end here we should find the full DC voltage on the both capacitor one capacitor 156 volt because these both capacitors are in series now we will check the output at output terminal I have no DC so we will check the output of the bridge rectifier at this place I have 12 volt I have 12 volt these 12 volt not regulated and after this fuse these are fuse points after fuse point I don't have any voltage so that means in the input side of fuse is okay output there is no voltage one side is available the second side is not available so it is not passing the fuse it is not passing the voltage through the fuse so we have to replace this fuse this fuse is bad because it is end terminal regulation so this is the reason I have fluctuation fluctuation in output section why the fuse is not passing voltage here and the voltage are not provided at the output terminal so when the voltage are not here it will not take a sense line 
so that's the reason we have to replace this fuse this fuse is bad this 15 ampere fuse So we detected this fuse bad. So I friend this. Uh, so friends, I think this video is good. If it is good, like, subscribe, and share. And in next video, I will share, inshallah, the full tutorial of the working principle, how it is working step by step, and every and every step how it is working. We will see it. I hope so. This video is good for you. If it is good, you can like if you want. And if you want to subscribe and watch my videos, then you can subscribe and you can press bell icon button. Bell icon button. It is up to you. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.